dudes, it's day 12, Pop Love Across America 2011. We are here with Josh Rifkin from the Songs for Kids Foundation. Woo! We just played Songs for Kids. Well, he played Songs for Kids. We encouraged the kids to give him uh, guff. That's right. Um, and you got a lot today, too. Mm -hmm. It was good. Uh, we're here in the lobby of Vanderbilt Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt University in Nashville. Uh, we chose this location outside the elevators because of the cool painting. Can you see the cool painting? You know, like that's a pretty darn good painting, I would say. We um, are dedicating this afternoon to two kids who are pediatric cancer survivors. Um, they're both very special kids to us. And uh, John's going to give us our, our, first, uh, our first boy. The first one is Isaac Aguerta. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm half Spanish or half Mexican, so I think I got that. Uh, from Riverside. Uh, I was diagnosed with Wilms tumor, same as my son, and Pablo, uh, and has been uh, in NED since 2010. So that's great news, and congrats, and I hope we're doing well. Our second uh, dedication today is to a boy from Nashville, Josiah Zapata, who actually was going to be here with us today for our hospital visit, but he had a little bit of a cough this morning, so he couldn't come to the hospital. And, you know, that doesn't actually suck, because he's probably been here now. I think he's probably done some time, yeah. His, uh, he and his family came to the Pablo Foundation uh, a Pediatric Cancer Symposium in L.A. last November. Uh, we've been good friends with them for some time. Uh, Josiah started kindergarten this year. He's five years old. That's a great time to start kindergarten, yeah. so he didn't have a delay. Um, and uh, he is off treatment, and he's uh, back in his life. I want to um, set up a very important uh, third dedication today um, to John's son, Brock, who uh, was diagnosed with Wilms tumor two years ago today, October 21st, 2009. And um, I'm going to talk about him for a second, if that's okay with you. Go right ahead. Um, John's story is, is, is both um, inspiring to me and is an example of of how when any of us just show up in the world, um, things can happen that you can't actually plan or uh, write out into an outline. Um, John found himself at Seattle Children's with his son uh, the night of October 21, 2009, um, and uh, started Googling Wilms Tumor, found our video uh, from Austin, Texas, um, where, where we, um, I think it was the end of week two of our first ride, and um, saw that there were people, crazy people like us, who were in the pediatric cancer world, who were in the Wilms tumor world, which is a very small, yeah. And uh, now John is out here doing this crazy activity with us for the second year. He's doing all three weeks. Um, and and uh, Brock, as we said, is a survivor now, which is fantastic. And uh, John is on our board of directors. So just from us doing these videos, um, John found us. And uh, we had an expectation when we shot our video on October 21 of 09. And we've met an incredible friend and a brother in arms. Um, it's really, I'm, it's kind of awkward because I'm sitting up here, but I want to shake your hand and say, you know, your friendship and your your brotherhood is very important to me. Yeah, absolutely. And and uh, I've been able to hang with Brock twice in my life. Uh, once was at the beginning of last year's ride in Seattle, and the other time was at the symposium last year in LA. And Brock is a, a sweet, amazing little dude. And, and it's funny, um, one of the great things about riding a bike a lot is that you slim down, mm -hmm. right? I don't know how much weight you've lost, but you've lost a lot of weight. And, and as John loses a pound at a time, he looks exactly like his little boy. <laughs> like, you know, you always did because you're yeah. his dad, but right. as you get slimmer, it's like, I look at John every day and be like, wow, I totally see Brock. Yeah. And you know, by the way, we're messing around a lot out here, having a lot of fun and laughing a lot. And um, that's exactly how I think of Brock all the time. You know, you know, laughing, um, and his cute little voice um, at the hotel in Seattle last yeah. year. So He's quite the character. He's quite the character. And I want to point out, Brock, that um, I think it's really funny that 
when you when you Skype with your dad, um, when we have Wi-Fi enough to do that, um, you know, you're getting older now, and you're getting to that age where you're like, hey, dad, what's up? And then you want to go back and, and play. That's a great thing. It's, it is. <laughs> it is. I got all 10 seconds from you yesterday. That's great. <laughs> That's a great sign. That's a great sign. So keep it up, Brock. Um, we we uh, are going to go and grab some food right now. We're going to go and do about a 90-minute recovery ride and make sure our legs are still working. Isaac, Josiah, yep. Brock, we are giving you guys all a thumbs up. We love you all. We love your families. And uh, we... Uh, we wish that you were here with us only so that you could hear Josh playing awesome songs. Um, and Josh, um, we really appreciate you getting on a plane every time and coming out with us. Dude. It's really awesome. I feel kind of weird sitting up here, but there were only two chairs. So, um, yeah, see you guys later. So long. <laughs>